The following message is transmitted at the request by order of the San Francisco Police Department and city officials. At approximately 10.35 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, a large group of armed men piloting several armored personnel carriers, tanks, and Humvees, have encircled and blocked almost the entire lower eastbound deck of the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge, holding at least over hundreds of motorists hostage as the large vehicle surrounded them. There is no information as to the identity of the assailants at this time. Law enforcement and city officials are currently assessing the situation. All civilians must be aware that police have set up roadblocks in and out of the Bay Bridge, and evacuations for areas and buildings located near or under the Bay Bridge are underway. No one is allowed near the bridge at this time. The California Highway Patrol are in the process of diverting traffic on U.S. routes 101 and 92 and interstates 580 and 880. The police are strongly advising that all residents stay away from the Bay Bridge at this time as a precautionary measure. It is also advised that residents in San Francisco and in areas of Oakland and Alameda need to return to their homes in case more hostage situations could occur elsewhere. Continue to monitor local radio or television sources for the latest information regarding this developing situation. In other news, we are seeing some updates regarding the hostage crisis we are now experiencing in the city of San Francisco. We have estimates that at least 19 people have been killed and nearly several dozens are injured. But that number is expected to go up as the situation progresses and that because this happened very quickly, these are, as always, not yet a correct estimate. We can see that most of the casualties at this time period were the people trying to jump off from the bridge or attempting to climb the upper deck in a desperate effort to escape, but they mostly ended in failure. Although we're getting some reports from higher patrols that few people were lucky to escape, and that both the U.S. Coast Guard and the California Department of Transportation and Highway Patrol are steadily making progress in evacuating the stranded residents and motorists in the Yerba Buena and Treasure Islands, we are still not sure about several things regarding this crisis. No terrorist group, nor any foreign country, is claiming responsibility of its attack as of yet, and we still have no idea about the identity of this armed group. What's more important is how could they have executed this without a hitch? Why are they doing this? What's their motive, and who are they targeting among maybe hundreds or potentially less than thousands of motorists trapped at the Bay Bridge? This is something, in my opinion, has never been done unlike in any hostage crisis, like a 1980 Iranian embassy siege in London, or the 2002 theater hostage crisis in Moscow. It looked to me that something straight out of an action movie, but clearly it's not. However, one small piece of information we can get from one of some of these trapped hostages is that these men appear to be mostly white males, a few were slightly overweight, and a few others were in other races, possibly Hispanic or black. They are between 5.5 feet and 6 feet tall, and they are somewhere between late 20s or early to mid 40s, and they all seem to have specialist weapons, hand-to-hand, -hand, and explosives training. To which one of San Francisco's off-duty police officers, who is among those trapped at the bridge, remarked that this is something that the Green Beret or Delta Force can do. Now what you just heard about the identification of these group of men, they are still unconfirmed at this time. But we will know more as soon as new official information becomes available. Police authorities have now closed off the Bay Bridge and are attempting to establish contact with this group of heavily armed men. In the meantime, I am stressing that all residents in San Francisco and other nearby areas throughout the San Francisco Bay Area should stay off from the San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge. It is extremely dangerous at the moment as these men are armed with high explosives. Presumably, it will be enough to destroy this bridge. Only the lower deck of the Bay Bridge for vehicles heading to Oakland by the east is affected by this hostage crisis. These terrorists only surrounded the motorists from a central anchorage of the westbound span to a nearby Yerba Buena entrance and exit ramps. The upper deck that goes to San Francisco by the west, meanwhile, remains virtually empty, as does the eastbound span of the Bay Bridge, which is also completely deserted, except for some of the patrolling California state troopers from Highway Patrol. As we still do not know whether similar events like this would pop up elsewhere, I would suggest that residents in San Francisco need to return to their homes as a precaution. Those wanting to cross the bay, or if you're still planning to go into Berkeley, Oakland, or Sacramento, must find alternative routes or take a long way around. 
It is also strongly advised that residents in San Francisco stay off of Embarcadero, as it is being closed to civilian traffic as a precaution since this street is located right below the bridge. Several areas and buildings next to or near the bridge, such as the Athleta Headquarters, Mozilla Corporation Headquarters, Piers 26 and 30, and many others are being evacuated. And the ferry building is now set up as an evacuation point for residents and workers trapped in Yerba Buena and Treasure Islands. And the scenes around the city we are experiencing right now are pretty much chaotic because, again, this is something we have never seen like this before. Come in. Good afternoon, President Walden. Director of the FBI is here for you. Bring him in. Mr. President, I'm glad you're here. I just got called and came here straight away. Yes, I did. We're aware there is an ongoing crisis occurring on our soil. I guess so. This is the first time we face. Um, sir? Damn it. Who could it be at this time of crisis? Hello, this is Mr. President. Who am I speaking to? Hello, President Warren. I hope you remember me. What? How? How do you get to my phone line? I have in many ways. And you have the guts. Sign and nicknames are like this. That will ruin a livelihood. Remember the year 2014? During the second term of the previous administration? Were you a goddamn vice president? What? What are you talking about? A message will come in due time. You know exactly what we want and why. Wait! And now we are here for the afternoon news and CNN, where we will be giving you the latest update regarding the ongoing hostage crisis looming above the waters of the Bay Area. We have received a memo from one of the trapped hostages, who is actually an off-duty police officer heading home to Alameda, stating that these heavily armed assailants at the Bay Bridge are searching every hostage victim in the area, all for one person. As of now, they hadn't found a certain person yet and we are still gathering information from other eyewitnesses and from the trapped hostages. Meanwhile, the governor of California Matthew Grayson, has recently made a statement regarding the ongoing crisis unfolding in San Francisco. I cannot tell how much it has been, how I felt that less than an hour ago when we experienced one of the most horrendous and frightening tragedies we have ever seen. This is something, such as a hostage situation taking place at one of the most vital road links that connected and held San Francisco and the Bay Area together, that was never done, not even from the day I was born or when I first became governor in 2021 after our predecessor before me, whom I had known him and cared for, had been recalled. But today, as we stand here from here on out, this is going to be a long, hefty day for us. We take terrorism very seriously, and, let this be known, we'll work around the clock to make sure that these people, who committed this horrendous act, be brought to justice. I have made contact with other federal and emergency management agencies, and we have come forth and we have to work together to reach a more peaceful solution to this crisis, without ever having to fire a shot, and while also trying to minimize casualties however we can, and as much as possible. We'll be right back after a short station identification and a commercial break. This is Josh Brenner, on CNN News. message is transmitted at the request of the San Francisco Police Department, the Governor of California's office, 
and the United States government. This is the update regarding the ongoing hostage crisis situation unfolding at the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge. It was recently discovered by the FBI and several other investigators that among the thousands of civilians trapped at the bridge is Braden A. Wallace, a Republican who is a member of the United States House of Representatives representing California's 12th Congressional District. His colleagues, and the mayor of San Francisco has stated that he was heading to Oakland to buy groceries before heading back to San Francisco for a fundraising event on climate change just some time before the assailants surrounded the motorists at the Bay Bridge. In addition, a call from what is believed to be the person masterminding this attack was directly sent to the President of the United States, possibly claiming responsibility for the attacks but no further details are being revealed at this time. So far, there has been no motive or demands for these assailants and authorities still haven't established contact with the perpetrators. You are reminded that you stay off from and not to drive on the Bay Bridge at this time. Roadblocks are being set up on Interstate 78 and 480. It is advised that residents within a 10-mile radius of the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge shelter in place, as the threat risks for more hostage situations in other areas are unknown at this time. All right, you guys know why I told the chief to stop the call you want here? No, what's going on, Mr. President? Someone on this telephone line was able to jack this telephone line was able to directly call me. He said that I know something. He even mentioned the executive order to me that was my former president and I signed together back in 2014. Wait a second. You met the Environmental and Non-Renewable Resources Protection Act? Yeah, that one. That act is protect non-renewable resources. And that's what stopped the construction of the transcontinental Rocky Mountain Pipeline dead on his tracks. Exactly. That act has been met with a lot of opposition. Even the Republicans are held on trying to prevent becoming law before I got to sign it. But luckily only seven Republicans, some from the House of Rep and the Senate, were able to break the stalemate, and you gained enough votes for Congress to pass the Environmental and Non-Renewable Resources Protection Act. Yeah, and one of the seven Republicans who supported signing that act into law is Brayden A. Wallace. Wait a minute. What did you say? I, I said Brayden A. Wallace. Oh no. It, it can't be. Mr. President, what's wrong? Wait. Mr. President, don't tell me. They're in danger. Send the Secret Service to the other six Republicans who supported that order right now. The following message is transmitted at the request of the San Francisco Police Department, the California Governor's Office, and the Federal Bureau of Investigation. This is an update regarding the ongoing hostage crisis developing at the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge. Approximately 30 minutes ago, police were able to establish contact with a group of terrorists who had held over thousands of civilians hostage. The terrorists have stated on a telephone call that they have a message that was to be broadcasted to the emergency alert system. Please stand by.
Good afternoon. I'm the representative of a team of mercenaries that we call ourselves the Heartland Renegades, the group whom we are responsible for holding over hundreds of civilians hostage on the Bay Bridge. Our leader's not in the mood to speak directly to the people at the moment, but I'm authorized by himself to say the following message. I hope if you're watching this, President Walden, or if anyone listens to this, that you all know that he, Walden himself, along with his former president, Richmond, have once signed an executive order 10 years ago that put the pipeline project down to the drain. And with it, our jobs, our income, our economic opportunities, and our livelihood. If you know what the executive order 6771 is, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. We tracked down one of the members of the House of Representatives representing California's 12th Congressional District named Braden A. Walsh, who was on his way to go grocery shopping. He, along with over six Republicans from both the House and the Senate, were supposed to be fighting for oil, free trade, and neoliberalism without the federal government ever interfering our economic business and our lives. Had made a huge mistake by passing Executive Order 6771 to be signed to law and giving a deal with the Democrats. Yes, they have added up to a total of 69 Senate votes, enough to break the filibuster thanks to the four Republicans from the Senate and two from the House of Representatives. We, the Heartland Renegades, cannot accept this. And we have decided that Brayden A. Wallace will pay the price. And so too will the other Republicans who will join the same fate as his. However, if you want to save him and those who supported you in this bipartisan bill, we urge that you must repeal the Environmental and Non-Renewable Resources Protection Act that was signed into law on February 18, 2014. And in exchange, we will let all of them go, and that we will call off all the other plans to attack other politicians and policymakers who supported or created the bill. We are a group that represents all people from all walks of life, wherever they go and wherever they're born, who have suffered financial losses, job unemployment, loss of social privileges, and many more. We fight for justice. We fight for better life. We fight for oil and money. And you, Mr. President, if you truly wish to fight for your people and your economy, you must do so right now. You have until two hours, or you will see every single dead body with bullets on their head dumped into the bay. One hostage per five minutes from 5.13 p.m. Pacific Standard. Goodbye. This concludes the activation of the emergency alert system. We will now return normal programming operations shortly. The following message is transmitted at the request by the San Francisco Police Department and the California National Guard. 
Since 4.53 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, the San Francisco Police Department has reported civilians in areas within Market Street and near Golden Gate Park causing civil unrest and causing property damage and injuries. Most of these cases reported to police occurred from a group of people assaulting the anti-Heartland Renegades supporters. Because these riots are connected to the recently broadcasted message sent out via the emergency alert system by the Heartland Renegades, a terrorist group that was responsible for instigating the hostage crisis at the San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge, the California National Guard is being called in to aid the San Francisco Police Department in a mutual assistance operation to restore law and order and to protect life and property. Due to the ongoing civil unrest related to the ongoing hostage crisis in the San Francisco area, all San Francisco residents are urged that you return to your homes immediately and to avoid traveling. If you have a medical emergency that requires you to travel, dial 911. Otherwise, remain in your home and do not travel. If you are found outdoors by military or police patrols without a valid reason, you will be questioned and searched, and you are ordered that you comply with law enforcement authorities or face arrest. Most importantly, do not participate or start any riots. Doing so will put your life at risk of serious injury, death, or arrest without counsel with the possibility of conviction to the fullest extent of the law. While martial law for the city of San Francisco is not in effect, it is a necessary solution should the situation worsens. Repeating, due to the ongoing civil unrest related to the ongoing hostage crisis in the San Francisco area, all San Francisco residents are urged that you return to your homes immediately and to avoid traveling. Do not participate or start any riots, or you will be arrested. Destinating targets. Negative. Hey, Tango spotted. Staring off on bridge. Our position's not yet compromised. Copy that, Omicron. Just be prepared to take a shot. But wait, and do not fire until the rest of your squad has spotted targets. We all have one chance for this. We have received intelligence reports some time ago that the entire Bay Bridge is rigged with explosives. So if any of you mess this up, it's over. Just hold your fire. Copy that, sir. Spearhead Sniper Squadron, do all of you find the targets? Got it. Target spotted. I got the right hand man. I got the target holding the detonator. That's the representative. I got the target from the westbound ramp. Alright. Anyone ready? Open fire!
Message is transmitted at the request of the San Francisco Police Department, the California Governor's Office, and the United States government. All clear. The hostage crisis that prompted the usage of law enforcement warning is no longer occurring. Repeat, the hostage crisis that prompted the use of law enforcement warning is no longer occurring. The threat risks for future hostage situations or any terrorist attacks caused by the Heartland Renegades is now over, and residents may now leave their shelters. However, be reminded that martial law is still in effect as there are reports of sporadic riots taking place in some areas of San Francisco. All residents in San Francisco are urged not to start any more riots or you will be arrested. In addition, if you are caught outdoors between 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. without a valid reason, you will be arrested without counsel. If you have a life-threatening emergency that requires you to travel, dial 911. One for assistance by local or military personnel. Repeating, the threat risks for future hostage situations or any terrorist attacks caused by the Heartland Renegades is now over, and residents may now leave their shelters. However, all residents in San Francisco are urged not to start any more riots or you will be arrested. If you are caught outdoors between 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. without a valid reason, you will be arrested. This concludes all operations of the emergency alert system. Normal programming will now resume momentarily. Your government would like to thank all citizens for your cooperation during this emergency.